Facebook Live, we've arrived. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo, the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early when I sit through scripture study and prayer live on this 26th day in um, July 2018. <clears throat> Just get ready to dive into the word, y'all. Some, something comprehensive. Again, it's a sermonette, but uh, prayerfully, the most high supply, a bunch of food, spiritual food, and understanding that we may grow thereby. Let's let's dive into uh, Galatians, the fifth chapter, and let's deal with this concept. Uh, thanks for chiming in. Y'all push share even right now so the folks can chime in on y'all Facebook pages. Let's get an understanding on this topic. Let's go to Galatians 5. Look what it say. 5 and 16. Look what it say, y'all. Well, bless you, bless you, Trenda. It says, This I say then, walk in the Ruah, walk in the Spirit, right? And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So get that understanding. Walk in the Spirit, and guess what you're not going to do? You're not going to see it. Well, look what else it says. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary, the one to the other. So you cannot do the things that you would. So being reminded, you're not an alien when you're tempted to do evil. We all go through the same thing. We just got to deny ourselves. That's why the Messiah said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself, right? The 18th verse say. But if you are led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. That's what I'm going to deal with today. If you are led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Let me say that again. If you are led of the Spirit, you're not, you're not under the law. The law is not made for you. The law is not even talking to you. Um, We're going to come back to Galatians, but... Let's go to uh, Timothy. I'm not going to go all over the place because this is just a sermonette, right? So 1 Timothy 1, beginning at the 7th uh, verse. Look what this say. It says, Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor where they affirm. You got people that talk about the law, but they don't know what they're saying, and they're agreeing with stuff they don't even know what they're agreeing with. But we know that the law is good. Listen, if a man use it lawfully, we know that the law is good. If you lose it lawfully, how do you use it lawfully? The ninth verse say, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Just what I said a second ago. If you're led of the spirit, you're not under the law. If you're led by the Ruach, the Mashiach is the end of the law to them that believe. If you, if you have the Ruach HaKadosh, what they call the Holy Spirit, living inside of you, it governs your life. And you're not under the law. The law is not talking to you. Watch this. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man or a righteous woman. <clears throat> right? But for the lawless. Who is this law for? For the lawless. For the disobedient, for the unyali and for the sinners, for the unholy and for the profane, for the murders of fathers and the murders of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers. Whoremongers is fornicators and folks that committed adultery and all that type of stuff, right? For them that defile themselves with mankind. That's talking about homosexuality. You got weird fetishes, uh, sexual fetishes, right? Uh, for men stealers, that's for kidnappers, folks that uh, uh, steal people and, and, and ship them into slavery and dog them out. But anyway, for men stealers, for liars, for perjurous person, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, that's who the law is for. You got people that want to teach the law, but they understand neither what they say, no, 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 where they affirm. They don't know what they're agreeing with. But we know that the law is good if a man uses it lawfully. It's a schoolmaster that will lead you to the Messiah. You got to know how to use it lawfully. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Come on, y'all. The law is not made for the righteous. Back to uh, Galatians. Now we can get a better understanding, right? 
16 again. For this I say, then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you walk in the spirit, and the Messiah said the words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. The so-called gospel is the word. Which is understanding, uh, uh, Romans 1 says that the gospel is the power of Yah unto salvation. It, it gives you salvation. It's the gospel. What is the gospel? The word. The, 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 the so-called gospel is classified as the, 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 the word, the good news. It's classified as, as the word. The word is coming forth and it's changing us. When we receive the Messiah, you got to remember, the Messiah was the Word made flesh. The flesh was the man part. That was our kinsman redeemer, our perfect example. And then, and then he lived the perfect example. The flesh lived the perfect example before us. And we're supposed to be his disciples, his followers of the perfect example he lived. And that flesh was governed and led by the Word that was inside. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. When anyone came to the Mashiach to worship him, as far as the flesh is concerned, he rejected it. He wasn't trying to lead us to, to, to worship men. He was trying to reconcile us back in the spirit to worship and obey the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah and the word was Yah. The same word was in the beginning with Yah. All things were made by him. And without him, it was not anything made that was made. If we're going to be made or led, it's going to be by his word. What did he say? And we got to become obedient to it. If we walk in the spirit, according to his word, right? You, sh you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We got an evil nature. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We got an evil nature. But we will not live out that evil nature. We will deny that evil nature if we're led by his spirit. That's why the Messiah said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. We got to be led by the spirit. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to the one to another. So you cannot do the things that you would. Watch this. But if you are led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Because if you are not led of the spirit, you are under the law. Because the law was made for the lawless. The law was made for the sinner. Didn't it say that, 1 Timothy? One and seven. The law was made for the sinner. We run around calling ourselves a sinner. Then you're not saved by grace. You're under the law. If you're saved by grace, then uh, his unmerited favor, his unearnable power to deny the flesh is in effect. You're walking according to the spirit. If you're under the influence of his grace, shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. Yah forbid. No. His unmerited favor, his favor on your life will deliver you from sin. <laughs> but if you are led of the spirit, you're not under the law. Watch this. So it's going to give you the attributes of, of, of not being led under the law. Right? In the 19th verse. Look what it says. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery. If you're an adulterer, then we go back to 1 Timothy. Right? If you're a doctor, look, we're going to read it one more time. I'm just going to make it plain. All we do is going between these two scriptures, y'all. This is just a sermonette. But look what it says. Again, I'm just going to go to the ninth verse. First Timothy 1 and 9. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. The law is not made for a righteous man. The Most High didn't have no law with Moses. I mean, with Abraham. He, they were in a relationship. They're in a relationship because Abraham believed him and obeyed him. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. He gave the law to Moses because the children of Israel didn't act like Abraham. They went against the Most High. So he had to give them the law. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient. For the unyali and the sinner. If you're a sinner, you're under the law. 
Come on, somebody. The law was made for sinners. Back to Galatians. I'm just trying to, in all your getting, get an understanding, right? That's why Galatians 5 and 18 said, but if you were led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Didn't it say it? We reading, y'all. But if you are led of the spirit, if you're obedient to the most high, you ain't under the law. You're in a relationship with him. Your spirit is crying, Abba, Father. You're in a, a, a relationship with him and you obey him. But if you are led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, one of want to read the Zodiac, what the Zodiac say today, want to get your palm read. Idolatry, <clears throat> witchcraft, hatred, variance, illuminations, wrath, strife, seditions, hearsays, envy and murders, drunkenness, reveling, and the such like, of the which I tell you before, and have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yah. Even though a lot of churches will tell you, you will. They're not rightly dividing the word. My children are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. If the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. With all that old church stuff. Come on, somebody. If you are led of the spirit, if you're obedient to the spirit of the most high, you are not under the law because the law is made for those that commit adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, illumination, wrath, strife, sedition, hearsay, envy, and murder, drunkenness, reveling, and a such life in which I told you before, I also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high. 22nd verse say, but the fruit singular, and ain't no S on fruit. It's not fruits, the attributes of one spirit. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. You're not up under the law because you're led by his spirit. And against his spirit, there is no law. There's a law against sin, being a sinner. There's a law against being unyali. There's a law against being sexually weird. There's a law against that stuff. There's a law. There's, the, 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 the word goes against that. But if you're led of the spirit, you have denounced that stuff. Come on, we're going to keep reading. But the fruit, the proof of the spirit is love, joy, peace. Long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are the messiahs have crucified the flesh with the affections and the lust. That debunks false doctrine right there. It says if you belong to the Mashiach, when we read these scriptures, we don't want to take them as cliches. It says they that are the messiahs have crucified the flesh. If you're led of the spirit, you're not under the law. If you have not crucified the flesh, then you're under the law because the law is made for the flesh, for that carnal nature of humanity, for that, sin, that, for, that, for that sinful nature that we were born with. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But when, 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 when you are filled with the spirit and you obey it, then you walk away from your flesh. See, the flesh lusts against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another, so you can't do what you want to do because you do have an evil nature that wants you to sleep with them, wants you to go to the club and get drunk, wants you to cuss them out, wants you to get high and drunk. That evil nature. But when the gospel comes, it denounces that evil nature, and then we're supposed to repent from that evil nature, turn from it. Cry in our spirit, Abba, Father. Ask him to forgive us, believing that he died on that tree for our sins to give us the right to walk away. If you're in the Messiah, you become new, a new creation in him. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You can't do that stuff no more. Because if you're still living like that, then you are under the law and the law works wrath. There is no salvation in the law. 
There is no salvation in the law. The law was our schoolmaster to prove to us that we needed salvation. The law came to prove we did not have salvation. The law written on stone, the stone represents the stony hearts of man. The word represents itself. It came out of the mouth of Yah. But we, our carnal, evil, stony hearts cannot obey it. So he took his word, put it on stone, and gave it to Moses. Moses gave it to the people, and, and the people couldn't keep it. The people couldn't keep it. So, so the Messiah had to come to rescue us from the curse of the law. Had to rescue us from the curse of it. Not, uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with the law. There's nothing wrong with what Yah said. The problem is uh, uh, for what the law could not do in that it was weak because of our flesh. Because of our sinful nature, Yah sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. There was nothing wrong with the law and there's a righteousness of the law. And the righteousness of the law is in the Ruach HaKadosh. The righteousness of the law is walking in the spirit of love, having a true relationship with the Most High. It's the fulfillment of the law. That's why the word said, you got to love Yah with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Upon these two, hang all the law and the prophets. All the law and the prophets is fulfilled. You, can, you made it to the finish line. You're walking in the finished product. You are led by his spirit. You have a relationship with the most high. Gospel came, convicted you of sin, you admitted you were wrong, and you feel bad and wanted to change. Because of your evil nature, you didn't have the power to change. So he baptized himself inside of you. And you shall receive power after his spirit has come upon you. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. When you repent, when the word come and shows you that you're going against the most high, your creator. When the word proves that to you, you repent, you turn from it. You are sealed with his spirit, according to Ephesians 1. You're sealed with his spirit as the promised possession. You're sealed with his spirit, and greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Now you can change. You denounce that you used to be a liar. You denounce you was a fornicator. You denounce you was a homosexual. You denounce that you was uh, evil and two-faced and sometimes an uh, alcoholic or a dope fiend. You denounce the dishonest uh, 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 works of darkness. You denounce it. That's why it says uh, 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 in the 22nd verse, but the proof, the fruit, the lifestyle of having a spirit is love, Joy, peace, long suffers, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and against such there is no law. And they that are the Messiahs have crucified. They that are the Messiahs have killed. When the gospel came and you accepted him as the master of your life, you killed. Your, your old nature was killed. It still pulls on you, but you denounced it. They that are the Messiahs have crucified the flesh. They did it. I denounced my sin myself. He revealed it to me and I repented from it. And then he baptized himself inside of me, giving me the power to stay away from my evil nature. If any man come after me, he said, let him deny himself. Great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. <laughs> he said, bless is the man that endureth temptation. I can grit my teeth and endure. Yeah, it's pulling on me. I'm not going to claim that to be me. That's my evil nature. I'm going to denounce myself. I'm going to deny myself. I'm going to tell myself I'm not going to do it. I'm going to put the word on it. Like the Mashiach did when he was led of the spirit to be tempted of the devil in the wilderness. Matthew's the fourth chapter, y'all, if you want to read it. He put the word on the devil. The devil was trying to pull on his, his, his human nature. Mm -mm. He put the word on him. And that's what we got to do. Because we denounced our evil nature. And they that are the Messiahs have crucified the flesh with its affections and lust. We killed it. The affections come, you got to go. That's why the word says mortify the deeds of the flesh. And mortify means to kill, reckon to be dead, mortify, denounce it. Trying to get me to uh, 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 fornicate. Trying to get me to commit adultery. Trying to get me to... Uh, covered my brother or my sister's possessions. If it's yours, I don't want it. That belongs to you. 
They that are the Messiahs have crucified uh, the, 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 the flesh with the affections and the lusts. For if we live in the spirit, if our eternal life is in the spirit, if our eternal life is in the word, let us also walk in the spirit. If we live, if, if, if in him we live, move, and have our being, if we live in the spirit, we don't live after the flesh no more. If we live in the spirit, he said, then let us also walk in the spirit. Walk in it. Obey it. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. This I say then, you want to know the conclusion? Walk in the spirit. We got to walk in the spirit because the flesh lusts against the spirit. Who's the flesh? Who we used to be. Born in sin and shaped in iniquity. The lifestyle we used to live. How we spelled Relief, how we had fun, who we hung with. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Evil communications corrupt good manner. Your company is your kind. That's not a scripture. <laughs> your company is your kind. Birds of a feather flock together. That's not a scripture. It's just true. The flesh lusts against the spirit. Yah is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The flesh lusts against the spirit. The carnal mind is enmity against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. Our natural nature goes against the most high. What he tells us to do, our flesh wants to do the opposite. If we walk in the spirit, we should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We will not obey our sinful nature. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. Our natural Response goes against Yah. Our natural, lustful, hateful, revengeful uh, nature goes against the Most High. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another. See, if you're not taught, your evil nature goes against Yah. If you believe, oh, I'm a good person. No, you're not. All have sinned and come up short. No, the heck you not. You might be peaceful, sneakily, quietly, lovable, secretly with a whole bunch of lubrication with folks that you ain't got no business being lubricated by. Shh. But you're real sweet. You're nice. But you're a tiger in private. For the, lust, for the flesh lusts against the spirit. You're revengeful. You hold grudges. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. The word is trying to reveal you to you. When the, what they call the true gospel is preached, it reveals you to you. For the, for the flesh lusts against the spirit. Our evil nature, the carnal mind is, is enmity. And enmity means hostile. The, the carnal mind, Romans the 8th chapter, the carnal mind is enmity against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. What Yah tells us to do, that evil nature goes against it. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, our evil nature. And the spirit against the flesh. Please believe me, Yah's against our lifestyle, our stinking thinking. Yah's against it. But instead of condemning us, he decided to come rescue us. And the rescue mission is applicable for those that believe. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is for the believer that believe him at his word and is willing to accept his word. Over their evil nature, they'll denounce their evil nature. And not trying to still go to heaven being evil. That's what the serpent told Eve. If thou should not surely die, you're not going to surely die. The, but the Most High says you, the day you eat thereof, you're going to surely die. Devil told her, you're not going to surely die. Fake preacher up under this Catholicism, this 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 wicked Christianity angle. Uh, not you know, I'm not saying all of it is bad, but but this wicked Christianity uh, 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 angle that tell, oh, you just a sinner saved by grace. No, you're an ex sinner. You you're an ex sinner because. Uh, 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 we just read that they that are the Messiahs have crucified the flesh with his affections and the lust. 
They that belong to the Messiah. If you're in the Messiah, you're a new creation, a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You're new in the Messiah. Sinner saved by grace. If you're a sinner, we just read in Timothy 1 and 1 that the law is made for the sinner. And if you're a sinner, you're under the law. The law was made for you, tailor-made. The rules and regulations written on stone was made for you and it's going to condemn you. But the Messiah came to take us from up under the curse of the law so we can walk in the spirit, so we can have relationship with him, so we can be willingly, so we can willingly deny ourselves. And he gave us his spirit to give us the power to deny ourselves. Without his spirit, we cannot deny ourselves. So he baptized himself inside of us, giving us the power, the ability to deny ourselves. This I say then, back to 16, y'all. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Your power, your eternal life, your relationship with the Most High is definitely in the spirit, in his Ruach HaKadosh. Seem like the uh, the battery's going down on on this um, on this device. And so the picture is, is getting darker and darker and I will keep preaching anyway until it die or we make it for a couple of more minutes. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. You, in your natural state, your attitude goes against what Yah say. You got to know that. You're not an alien. You think because of the evil thoughts you have that you're the, the seed of the devil. No, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. When you're tempted, you need to grit your teeth and disagree with it. Disagree with yourself. If any man would come after me, he said, let him deny himself. Take up his torture stake and follow me. He that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Your flesh is going to be kicking and screaming when you obey Yah. It wants to feel good. It wants to get rubbed. It wants to tell the lie. It wants to get paid. It wants to uh, walk in self-preservation. Better you than me. And all that old crazy. Come on, somebody. But if we walk in the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Folks say you can't stop sinning. You can, you ain't, you can, st folks can't stop sleeping with them because they, they, they feel too good. Then when they find out they got AIDS, all of a sudden they strong enough to stop. When they find out they've been sleeping with their mama, when they find out they're sleeping with their best friend, then they got the power to stop all of a sudden. Come on, somebody. We got the can't help us in this evil nature because we just want to please ourselves. That's why it tells you to walk in the spirit and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The rescue is in the spirit. Because Yah is a spirit. He came to rescue you from you. If you walk in the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another. So you cannot do what you want to do. You're not an alien. Just don't obey yourself. Obey him. Be led of the spirit. But if you're a led of the spirit, you're not under the law. You're not under the law. The law is not talking to you. You have a relationship with the Most High. You're walking in the spirit of love. You obey him. You do what he say. Because the, 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 the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, illuminations, wrath, strife, seditions. Hearsays, envy, and murders, drunkenness, reveling, and the such like. Anything scandalous, anything like it. If you think there's a new sin on the block, throw that in there too. Of the which I have told you before and have told you in time past, uh, that they that which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. But the proof, the fruit, the lifestyle, the attributes of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Against such there is no law. You don't need no law. You're not under the law. And they that are the Messiah have. When, when the so-called gospel came to you, I thought you uh, admitted you was a sinner, feel bad, and repented. Believe that the Messiah died on a tree for your sins. I thought you repented. You changed your mind. You not repented no more. You turned around and went back to your old lifestyle. You not repented no more. They that belong to the Messiah have cru come on, have crucified the flesh with the affections and the lust. 
Then he concluded and said, if we live in the spirit, if we live in, if your life is in the spirit, if your relationship with Yah is in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Walking in the spirit means you're obedient to the spirit. You obey what Yah say. Any questions? Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this sermonette, this quick sermonette. We pray that your word will forth uh, to explain we're not under the law. The, the law is for the lawless and the disobedient, for the sinner. We're ex-sinners, saved by your unmerited favor. You gave us the power to become new creations if we choose to. We choose to because we believe you. Continue to send us through the my renewal process that we may become more and more like you as we see the day approaching. We trust, we even thank you, you even for this. In the matches name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Look like we got through the lesson, y'all. If the lesson bless you, push share. Super easy to go witnessing. Push share. Share the lesson so somebody else can be blessed. If you believe this is a good ministry, then support it. You can go to PayPal. Put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N -N 5857 at Yahoo.com. Sow a seed if you believe this is good ground. We're on the conference line right now about to talk about the word. We're at 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Chime in. I'd love to meet you in person. Well, verbally anyway, y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.